Hey folks, this is Josh with Intertech Pest, and we are looking at bat insulation that looks more like blown-in insulation. Uh, we know it's bat insulation uh, just because of the foil paper backing uh, that's on the uh, non-exposed side right now. Uh, this is what happens in a very severe roof rat infestation. Uh, this particular home was uninhabited for quite some time and so roof rats were able to move in. Uh, this home was built on piers uh, about two and a half feet off the ground and there was some lattice around the property uh, but that was not able to successfully keep the rats out. Uh, just openings in the lattice We're not backed with wire of any kind. Uh, usually a quarter inch or a half inch galvanized wire cloth would be sufficient. Uh, so as a result, roof rats were able to come up through the floor. Some small openings in the siding. And um, once we got up into this attic space, we also saw very extensive drywood termite damage. Uh, There's also subterranean termite damage in the home as well. So we're gonna clean out all this insulation uh, see if we can harvest any more rats out of this particular property and then we'll make an assessment and a recommendation to the homeowner on doing a tent fumigation or uh, replacement of obviously uh, considerable damaged wood here. So anyway, if you'd like more information on roof rats or termite control or general insect and pest control, visit us on the web at InnotechPest.com. That's I-N-N-O-T-E-C-H-P-E-S-T.com.